Hello ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, you're listening to Tuesday night on the best gospel, the best praise talk show in America, Sports Minute. Hey, tonight we're going to kick back with all the sports highlights and all the scores from yesterday and today. Want you to stay tuned and we'll be back shortly. Come on. Yes, you know it is Tuesday Night Sports Minutes on the best gospel, the best praise talk show, Tim A. Tonight, we just going to kick back. Like I said, for those that just tune in, we want to thank you for listening to every Tuesday night we have Sports Minutes. want to let you know that Jeff wanted to let you know that he loved each and every one that continued to tune in. Want to We'll let you know that he will be back on the show shortly. So make sure you stay in tune. He won't be on tonight, but he send his love to all his fans, his listeners. And we're hoping that he will be able to be back on soon. But I will pass that. Let you know. He mean it from the bottom of his heart. He does. He does. He does. He mean it from the bottom of his heart. And we pray that he be he's able to be back on soon enough. But we're going to cover it tonight. We're going to do what we can do when we can do it. And I think that was uh, uh, old, old Sam. I'm going to do what I can do when I can do it. I think uh, Chris Tucker said that. I'm, I think I'm going to do what I do when I can do it. <laughs> I'm going to do what I can do when I can do it. I'm going to do the best I can. And the best I can, Sam, I am. I don't like green ham and eggs. That's Sam I am. All right, we're going to continue right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to your Major League Baseball. Right now, top of the eight, Phillies and the Nationals. Phillies, Philly leaving that one, leading that one four to three. The White Sox, top of the seventh. White Sox is, oh man, blowing the Blue Jays out 10 to 1. Ah, right, matter of fact, that game is over. It's done. White Sox pulled that one out 10 to 1 over the Blue Jays. We got the Athletics and the Tigers. Bottom of the ninth, Athletics are winning 5 to 1. Red Sox and the Braves, top of the ninth inning. Red Sox leading that one seven to two. Come on, Braves! Come on! I used to be a Braves fan, but I just tell you, every time they get to a uh, uh, playoffs, they just turn their face down. 
and they throw their back bat, bats away. I don't know what the world they go. They, they hitting with those little Nerf balls or something. But anyway, let's keep it going. The Reds and the Mets. Bottom of the eight. The Mets are leading the uh, one four to three. And we have the Orioles and the Rays. Top of the ninth. Rays leading three to one. And let's see what else we have here. We have the Yankees and the Rangers. The Rangers, top of the seven, leading eight to zero. Man, them Yankees, that's my sister team. Hey, sis, if you're listening, what happened to the two yo Yankees? What's happening to yo Yankees? I don't know. <laughs> they need to go sing the uh, old song, <laughs> Yankee, Dan Yankee Dandy. I'll tell you right now. All right, Brewers and the Cubs. Brewers and the Cubs, bottom of the top of the six, tied up one to one. Indians and the Twins, top of the six, and then Twins are leading that one, uh, four to six. And we have the Pirates and the Rockies. End of the second quarter, Pirates leading up four to one. Cardinals. And the Diamondback, bottom of the first, 0 0 0 0 0 0. And coming up, coming up, we have 10 05 Royals and the Angels. And, you know, we got. Um, We got some more games, man, right now. I mean, we got some plenty of plenty of games. And for those that like baseball, that's what's going down in your town. Matter of fact, that's what's going on your too. <laughs> I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Oh, shooky dicky quack quack. All right, halftime, Boston and Atlanta. All right, that's coming up right now. Let's see what we got going on with this computer here. It's acting crazy again, but we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna keep it going. We're gonna keep it going. It doesn't make sense how this stuff adds up, uh, but we trying to get things right here. All right, now. Let's go back. Let's go back for a moment. Monday. Heat and the Hornets. Ooh wee. This is Monday night, y'all. Monday night. Heat and the Hornets. Hornets. Bamboozle. And <laughs> heard that word in a while. Bamboozle. The Heat. 89 to 85. Mavericks and the Thunder. Final score, Thunder. They snap, crackle, and pop. 118 to 104. And the Clippers. And the Trailblazers. I don't know. Trailblazers must have uh, hired Clyde the Glide back because they pulled it out 98 to 84. Man, that was something else on that. But I'm telling you right now, it's heating up. It's heating up. All right, let's talk about what's got go, what's going on right now. Uh, we're looking at halftime right now. Celtics and the Hawks. Hawks forty-seven to thirty-nine. I right, and the, the final score for the Pacers and the Raptors. Raptors. Uh, one oh two to ninety-nine. The Raptors came out in dinosaur fashion. Oh, <laughs> uh, should have had a drum roll or something. But uh, they came out and Pacers, man. Uh, hey, the game now three, three, two, uh, three, two. So we we looking uh, we looking pretty good, man. Um, in the NBA, I mean, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the playoffs that they were is where they finally finally start to play real, real strong ball. They they play real good, but during the regular season, man, you know about. First 10, 20, 30 games, garbage. 
But when you get down to the playoffs, it start getting a lot better. All right, let's go. What what's happening on tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, the Hornets and the Heat, eight o'clock TNT. Trailblazers and the Clippers come on at ten on the NBA TV network. And at 10.30, it's the Rockets and the Warriors. Come on, Steph. You got to get back, baby. You can put some anointing oil on that knee. In the name of Jesus, claim it to be healed. And get right. <laughs> get right. <clears throat> and that's your sports for tonight. We want to thank, thank each and every one, one of you, you, <laughs> for tuning in every Tuesday night to hear all the highlights. And all of the scores and things to come. But I am so waiting for the N NFL to come to see what my boys, the Dallas Cowboys, is going to do. I'm telling you right now, they need to do something. Put me on a jersey. I can block somebody if I just got to lay down and hold on to them. <laughs> But uh, hey, man, we need we got to get better. We got to get we got to win our division. Who in the world would, would have thought that the Redskins, Deadskins, would win the division with Kirk Cousins? Ooh, wipe the sweat off your forehead. Ooh, who in the world would imagine that this Joker here and that team would win? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do, but I know one thing, Romo come back, Romo come back, they better tighten up. <laughs> All I'm going to say is, Jerry Jones, I need to put on some boxing gloves and you put on some boxing gloves and let us go at it because I'm, I'm just like, who in the world are you even picking up for a quarterback? Granted, yeah, we got a running back, but who in the world are you picking up, man? Y'all see all of the backups we done had since Romo was out? Man, oh man, and then we, man, put me on some pads now. We do bully in the ring because I want to. I just want to tackle that joker. Weedon couldn't pull out a game if he had a magic trick, but he goes to another team, which is the Cardinals, and and win his first playoff game. What in the world happened, man? What in the world? Either that or he didn't understand our offense. Oh, but anyway. Tonight, that's what Sports Minutes. We hope Jeff will be on next week. Thank you for listening. And we out of here. Sports Minutes. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Heavenly Sense Products. If you need natural body products, well, throw away all those usual soap products you buy from Walmart, Walgreens, and other places. Those chemicals will harm your body over a long term. If you have eczema, if you have extremely, extremely dry skin, natural body soaps will do the wonders. Raw shea butter, natural body soaps, natural body lotions, designer body sprays, and more. Smelling your best at yahoo.com. You can email them at smelling your best at yahoo.com. Ship anywhere in the USA. Order today and have it drop ship to your location or if you're buying for someone else, just include the address and it'll be shipped to their doorstep. That's right, Heavenly Sense have the best deals, the best prices, and the best quality for your skin uh, to make it feel so chic. Huh? Heavenly Sense products. You can't beat them anywhere. Email smelling your best at yahoo.com.
Here on the TMA Radio Show, we would like for you to become a listening partner. That's right, a listening partner. Amen. Come and donate today by emailing ministeraccurateshow at gmail.com. That's ministeraccurateshow at gmail.com. Become a listening partner. And also, for those that have ministries, if you want to get the word out, also the events that you have going on at your church, email ministeraccurateshow at gmail.com for airtime. So get your block time today. Email ministeraccurateshow at gmail.com. Also, we want to let you know that we are here to support the community. And we need you to support this local broadcast. Even though our broadcast goes around the world. They listen to us in Texas, South Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina. They listen to us in Atlanta, Wendell, Riley, Durham, and all other surrounding areas. Egypt, that's right, in Egypt, Asia, and all over where they key us in to listen to a word from the Lord or just to be uplifted through music. That's right, this ministry is worldwide. People can listen all over the globe. So I want you to become a listening partner today that we can keep going and keep spreading the good news of Jesus and sharing free salvation to everyone that will accept it. Amen, amen. God is good and we believe in that God will touch and show out and show up because he's continued to do it time and time again. Not when we want it, but when we need it, he's right on time. Yo, these streets is watching and they need no binoculars to see imposters. The streets need gospel and faith will blind sick, possessed and dead rise. And mass murder does nothing for the paralyzed. But yo, his army is different. It transforms lives. So first the lame walk and then the lame ride. And when the lame talk, that's when his name fly. Even in places where it's illegal to say God. AK hits the door. They hit the floor, clutching the very book that they searching them for. And even though these refugees ain't seen church, they memorized every Verse. This is for the eight-year-old who goes home to the favela, singing songs under his breath, a cappella. That preteen weeps on the streets of Boston. This the price the crocodile tears look costed. Nails in a back that was shredded like a cheese grater. These lines bring heat like the equator. And in the street, we ain't fighting what we see, player. Wrestle the air condition, AC Slater. You have to fix the mind before you can bestow the blessing. Because until they get their mind right, everything you invest in them is going to leak out of the crevices of a mind that refuses to change. Look at your neighbor and ask him, do you have a mind to change? Change, change. From Angola to South Beach, big like Lebowski. Gonna fly us home, want a window or a aisle seat. Lift two arms to the place where the clouds be. Even if you eating from where Oscar the Grouch be. The good news is he's coming real soon. And if your stomach aches, then he's coming with food. And if your heart breaks, then he's coming with tools. And if you have faith, then he's coming for you. you. Yeah, he's coming for you. And if your life's gray, then he's coming with hues. Rose from the grave for these colorblind fools. Poured out his red and they covered our blues. And here's some more good news. That the situation changes when your mind renews. Here's the time to choose. Red or the blue. Win or the lose. Awake or the snooze. The street guy, street guy, street guy, street guy, street guy. The streets need gospel, 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 gospel. Wait for an answer. If they said no, drag them to the altar. Tell them they got till midnight to get that fix. Lay your hands on your head and say, give me a new mind. Give me a new mind. Because until they get their mind right, everything you invest in them 
is going to leap out of the crevices of a mind that refuses to change. Look at your neighbor and ask him, do you have a mind to change? Wait for an answer. If they said no, drag him to the altar. I got love for my city. Ain't no doubt about that. You can tell by the way that I walk till my hat. Mama told me, baby, there we days like this. Where the wicked would try to tempt you. Eagles will try to bring you. It's the ways of the world, so baby, no need for tissue. Mama, she raised a man. Baby, I'm so official. I was dealing with issues from past shit that I've been through. I know the flesh is weak. That's why I pray for the mental. My father who are left, protect us from evil men. Our father They got till midnight to get that fix. They got till midnight to dump out all jealousy, all pettiness, all unforgiveness, all strife, all malice, all confusion, all blaming other people for your mistake. You got till midnight to get rid of every poison that's hindering you, every inflexibility that's stopping you from what God is about to pour into your life. Woe be unto you if you run to another year. Another year with the old mentality while somebody's in the hospital begging God for the opportunity that you have right now. You better step into this moment. telling you, you can make whatever kind of money you want to make, you can have whatever you want to have, you can do whatever you want to do, like there are no limitations, and aren't you tired, there's some of y'all out there right now, you're tired, you know, somebody telling you when to come to work, somebody telling you when to take lunch, somebody telling you when to do a vacation, somebody telling you what you can and cannot do, some of us, we were born to fly, but what I'm telling you is, when you become the right person, what I mean by the right person is, once you identify who you are, and you begin to separate yourself from the masses and you begin to see your individuality when you begin to see your talents when you begin to see your personal skills all right it's like this if you ever wore a suit from the store before that's one thing but if you ever got a suit tailored are you hearing what I'm saying? If you ever got a tailored suit before, you know that it's different from going to buy a one-size-fits-all suit and then having a suit that's tailor-made. It fit different. The pants are different. The way you walk in it is totally different. Why? Because it's fit to you. And what I'm telling you is you need to have a tailor-made life. When you were created, you were created with a specific purpose, a specific design. I don't care if you was born and, you know, your parents didn't claim you. You still special. I don't care if your mama went in your life, your daddy went in your life, you are still special. When you were created, you were designed to do what nobody else can do. And I'm telling you, when you become the right person, when you become the right person, what you do is you start separating yourself from other people. You begin to have a certain uniqueness. As long as you're following other people, as long as you're being a copycat, you will never ever be the best copycat in the world. But you will be the best you could be. So I'm challenging you, number one, number one, I'm telling you to define your value, right? Number two, I challenge you, listen to me. If you want to make more money, if you want to be more successful, if you want to have and do stuff you ain't never done before, number two, I'm asking you to invest in you. That's right, invest what? Number one, I'm asking you to invest time. I'm asking you to invest time in yourself. Some of y'all, you spend so much time with other people. You spend so much time trying to get people to like you. You spend so much time trying to fit in that you don't even know who you are. You know other people more than you know yourself. You study them. You know about them. You want to hang out like them. You want to be just like them. Them. And you know what? You've invested so much time in them, you don't know who you are. I challenge you to spend time by yourself. I challenge you to take yourself out. There's some young ladies right now, you fine, you pretty, you got it going on, some brothers, you handsome, you suave, you got swag, but you know what your problem is? You, you, you've been in one relationship after another relationship, and you ain't never been in a good relationship because you don't even know you. You spend so much time taking her out. You spend so much time trying to impress him. You spend so much time buying her flowers, taking her out to lunch. You spend so much time calling him. You don't even know who you are. You heard what I said. You've invested so much of your time in being liked by other people, being loved by other people, being appreciated by other people, that you don't even know who you are. And I challenge you to invest time in your own self. I challenge you to get to a place when people don't like you, it don't even bother you no more. Why? Because you're not concerned with trying to make them happy because you're trying to blow up. You're trying to get to the next level. E.T., I don't like the fact that you do this. I don't care. I'm not living my life for you. I'm living my life for me.
Your weather forecast tonight, we're looking at low of 62 degrees. Wednesday, chance of thunderstorm and rain. High of 85 with a low of 62. Thursday, chance of rain and thunderstorm. High of 81 with a low of 61. And that's your two day and a half forecast. I know we've all had some problems that we've had to bear. We've all had some sickness. We've all needed some care. But I'm so glad to know that the word of God is true. If you trust and believe, he'll do the same for you. Making ways for me. Door open up, door open up, opening doors I can't see. My mountain mover, mountain mover, we're casting into the sea. Oh yeah, he's my everything. He's everything to me. I know we've all had a midnight hour, had to cry sometimes, while others moved ahead, you were left behind, but the Lord has made you a promise to stand by your side, and before it's all over, you'll be next in line. He's a way maker, making a way, a way for me. Door open the door, the doors I can't see. My mountain mover, oh, we'll cast it into the sea. He's my everything. He's everything. For your church news, church events, 
we are happily, happily, happily to let you listeners know that starting April the 28th through April the 30th and May the 1st, 2016, Life Changes Kingdom Ministries, 270 Motorcycle Road, Clayton, North Carolina, God's Wailing Women, amen, God's Wailing Women, listen now, they got speakers here, on April the 28th, Bishop Cheryl Grissom, April the 29th, Apostle Andrea Weeks, April the 30th, Apostle Gail Street, and on May the 1st, Apostle K.B. Russell, amen, amen, listen women, need, it's need time, it's time for a need, it's needed time for warfare and deliverance. I want you to let somebody know that ain't, that's not listening to the broadcast, that it's, it's a need now that we are in warfare and we need deliverance. Women, you make the home. All right? You're listening now. Women, you make the home and a home. And, and, and it's time for women, listen, to come together and cry unto the Lord. Come together with your problems come together with things that's been weighing you down come together to battle that devil amen it's time to battle that devil that's been bothering you that's time it's time it's time to come together for your inner need so I want you to tell somebody that may not have listened to the broadcast tonight if they got some inner stuff that they dealing with. If, if, if they have problems that they seen that they know they can't fix. They got some things, some issues going on. It is time to get deliverance. You know we got to teach our young women, our young girls, that they can live holy. Amen. They can live holy. And it's time. We're in a spiritual warfare with the enemy. And it's time to put boxing gloves on, ladies. It's time. It's time to put on them shouting shoes and step on his head. It's time to uplift your sister that you see that's down. And encouraging, encouraging her that she is in the fight and you are with her. That you're going to stand on the front line with her. And let her know she got some help in her corner. So for those ladies that are listening. And those that, that may not listen right now live. But they can listen later. I want you to hook up with somebody. A girlfriend or a cousin. A favorite cousin. As the, as the old saying say. Hook up with your old ace boom coon. And go ahead and go down. April the 28th through April the 30th and May the 1st. Life Changes Kingdom Ministries. And again, they're located 270 motor road, Motorcycle Road. So that means get there in a hurry. Don't speed, but get there in a hurry. Make it a priority that you check them out. 270 Motorcycle Road, Clayton, North Carolina. God's Wailing Women. And it's time. Warfare. Because women, you are the beauty of the home. You make the home perfect. Amen. The, the men, the brothers, are, uh, we, are, we are the foundation, but you are keeping the house going. You know, grandma or big ma, she kept the house and everything in the house together. But granddaddy made sure that grandma had what she needed. And so we're going to be talking about that uh, this week. As I stated earlier on my Facebook page, we're going to be talking about uh, women and, and, and in relationships with jokers that ain't worth five cents. The woman out breaking her neck, working and bringing the only check home. And this guy, this brother, somewhere in America, in the world, saying he can't keep a job. And I want to know what God he serves. Because the God that I serve, the big G-O-D, 
says that he will supply all our needs. So I want to know why he can't keep something going for himself. Do he not know that God supply us with gifts and talents? So maybe because he's not in the connection with God is the reason he going through. And I know that what I'm talking about is because you got jokers sitting around drinking, smoking, playing the game, and ain't doing nothing for the wife. Zero. And she over there burning a hole in her shoes trying to get to work and he want to know what's what's for dinner when she come home. And ain't thinking about a job. That's what we'll be talking about on Wednesday night. So you make sure you have brothers tuning in because I, I want to hear what they got to say. Because a lot of time I get a lot of women tuning in and, but our brothers sometimes they get a little scared and weak, don't want to come in and, and join in conversation. But but this is to help somebody know that if, if if you believe in God, then all things are possible. If you believe in God and have a relationship with Him, and you trust Him, if you have faith, then He will open the door. But you got to get your lazy boots off the chair and go to the door and walk through the door. But if you it ain't gonna happen when you sleep to 12 1 o'clock in the afternoon you just waking up and she already done put in five hours of work and then when she needs something she got to not only pay the bill but worry about how to keep things going you supposed to be able to meet her halfway it's 50 50 it's it should be 50 50 i know some men say 100 but we in this thing together there's no big I, and ain't no little you. We in it together. So jokers, get off the couch, get your lazy boots up, and go find something. You, If you wash some cars, go cut some yards. You can do something if you want to. You got to have a want-to mind. And I, I know I'm not going to talk about it all tonight, but I got something else to say about the issue tomorrow because a lot of women I see out here breaking their back and got a joker at home and won't go seek a job and just just too lazy but enjoy hanging out with the buddies and making you look like you, oh my goodness we supposed to represent each other if, if i'm out here and, and and looking like i'm going someplace then my wife should look like she going someplace too i shouldn't look like a tore up wreck and a mess and my wife look like she going someplace we we opposite you sitting around with a knotted head, won't get your head cut. You sitting around with the same shirt on you had two, three days in a, in a row because you don't work. You lounge around watching all the TV, cable, and everything. I, I, let me not talk about it because this thing get me worked up, brothers. I'm sorry. I mean, you know, I'm not boasting or bragging, but I do multiple things. I'm going to do what I have to do to try to make a dollar. And it might not be much, but I'm going to keep going. And that's one thing about me. I don't like nothing to beat me. That's why I don't give up. That's why I don't give in. Things might think in my mind, but I have to rebuke those things that, say, that tells me you're doing all that and you still ain't getting to where you need to go. I'm getting where I need to go if I keep pushing, if I keep marching, if I keep going. You know, and, and like I said, I, I got things that I can try to offer brothers, but I, I be putting it on Facebook and I know brothers what they doing. They ain't doing that. I know they ain't doing that. I mean, they look, you know, it ain't gonna come to you all at one at one time, you know. It, it ain't gonna come like with a big sack out the sky. You got to work at it. You sometimes you might have to start very small. But I tell you what, my mama always said when I was young that some money is better than no money. A dollar is better than zero. And you might think a dollar small, but if you got zero, how many dollars is that? All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> that's enough of that. I'm trying to tell you. This next song is so fitting to me because I can tell you every time I turn around, he continue to bless me regardless of, of what it may be, big or small. When I woke up this morning, he blessed me to wake up. When I went to the job this morning, he allowed me to be able to use my hands and work. He allowed my ability of my mind to create something to bring home and put in the pan. The God that I serve has never failed. And he will never fail you. 
over and over again. Listen to it.
people you need to reach out while you have a chance to sing it. Amara Candle Company have the best, best soy wax candle you can find comes from soybean, which is eco-friendly to help save our environment. These wonderful candles, which I love the vineyard. The vineyard is very, very good. It smells so wonderful. Amara Candles is, is one that will bring nice scents to your home. You can buy Amara candles at www.amaragifts.com. That's www. A M A R I A H G I T S. dot com. Amara gifts. Go ahead and order today and have them shipped to your home. The best handmade candles you will find anywhere on the market they are made with love and time and I tell you I love the vineyard so if you get onto the website try the vineyard I've used the vineyard plenty of times and that vineyard will man, put a smell in your room oh my goodness again that's Amara Candle Company um, www.amaragifts dot com and order yours today and let them know that you've heard it on the TMA radio show support your local business owners and make your home smell so divine this summer thank you and continue to listen to the broadcast
28th through April the 30th and May 1st, 2016. God's Wayland Women, Life Changers Kingdom Ministries, 270 Motor Cycle Road, Clayton, North Carolina. If you need a word, go get a word. Hook up with your friend. Hook up with your family. Ladies, go out. Speakers are April the 28th, Bishop Cheryl Grissom. April the 28th, Apostle Andrea Weeks. April the 30th, Apostle Gail Spree. And May the 1st, Apostle K.B. Russell. Life Changers Kingdom Ministries, 270 Motorcycle Road, Clayton, North Carolina. All right, this has been a wonderful, wonderful segment of Sports Minutes on the TMA Radio Show. We want to thank all the listeners that tune in tonight. We want you to have a blessed, blessed night. Sleep well and enjoy your day tomorrow. And meet us here for Midweek Praise. A come and bring your praise shoes with you. And let us lift up the name of Jesus together. Because God is worthy of our praise. Amen. He's worthy to be praised. Because every time we turn around, He continues to bless us. Every time we think that we don't deserve something, He comes 
and bring something that we didn't expect. I thank God for what he's doing in my life and t taking care of my family and taking care of all my listeners because if you're listening now, look at what God is doing for you. You're able to hear, you're able to see, you're able to get online, you're able to do whatever you need to do to travel in this world and we ought to thank God and when we get to midweek praise, it's the middle of the week. God has kept us all the way to the middle of the week to give us some energy that we can continue to go the rest of the way. And so meet us here. Tell somebody to tune in. Bring somebody new in to listen. Share this on your job. Give them the email. Uh, uh, give them the website. Let them know that we're here every week, Sunday through Thursday. And let them know that we are here to encourage them, inspire them, that they can make it. That they have some power in the name of Jesus. God gives them the anointing. They just have to be in line for it. Amen. We got one last song for you tonight. And once again, meet us here between 9 and 10 p.m. tomorrow for midweek praise. And bring your praise shoes on and let's stamp on the devil's head. Whatever I do